Ooh, child. Look, I don't normally talk like this, but this story that we're about to get into will have you saying, Woo, child. Let's get to it. Now, you know I call Diddy a sex demon because he's a sex demon. There's no one that Diddy will not sleep with. Who haven't Diddy sleep, slept with? Who haven't Diddy slept with? I'll wait. Okay. I could do a series. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a series. You know, like Tisa, Tisa, Risa, Tisa, whatever her name is. <laughs> yeah. It will be more than 50 parts. I promise you. It would be like a hundred thousand of parts. I'm not exaggerating. Diddy have slept with everybody in Hollywood. Everyone. Men, women, tables, you name it. Trees. Okay? I'm not kidding you. This guy is a Jezebel. Yes, men can be Jezebel. This guy, he's a demon. A sex demon. Okay? Let's get into it. So... Okay, so let me let you guys know. LSA, for those who know about LSA, is a forum where anyone can post. There have been a lot of breaking stories, news, tea. You guys call it tea on celebrities, you know? And a lot of these stories, I mean, they have come to pass. Like the Cassie situation with Diddy. It was on LSA first. And then when she came out with, when she filed the lawsuit, everything she mentioned was already posted on LSA since 2000, I want to say 2011. The whole limo where he, he pulled her in the limo and started stumping her in the limo. Um, when he caught her talking to a producer. Um, when they pulled to the house. And yeah, he pulled her back inside. She got to the gate and he dragged her. Before he dragged her, he was just stumping her. And then when she tried to walk away, he kicked her in the back of her head. All of that was on LSA before the lawsuit okay so so i found this i i found it around the time when i was when the docu when the lawsuit came out you know so i want to share this with you guys who you see this is not shocking this is not shocking what i'm about to reveal what I'm about to read to you guys, it's who is involved that's shocking. Like both parties being, getting, you know, being, you know, a homosexual is not shocking. It's the fact that they are, to, the fact that they were together, you know, like I would never. Yeah, I know he slept with a, a lot of people, did he? I know he slept with billionaires, I mean, sponsors, everyone, right? White, black, everybody in Hollywood, right? It's just I never thought that. I don't know. I don't know. That's the only thing that's shocking. That you know, I just wouldn't see him. Even though I don't, I'm not surprised that he's gay. This person that Diddy was messing with is just that I just didn't see them together. I just couldn't, I didn't, well, I didn't think about it. But anyways, let's get to it. So this right here is, um, this person wrote this, right? On, let me see, let me see, I want to get this right. This person wrote this on November 21st, 2023, okay? And it goes like this. Since, it's, since it appears it's going down, 
I have one last wild ditty story. All of these come secondhand from people in the industry who have worked directly with him. With that said, I'm adding allegedly, cause allegedly, and will change a few details to protect the identities of my source, etc. Okay? But anyways, my dead entertainment lawyer introduced this mutual to Diddy and he was doing songwriting for him, kicking it in Miami at his place. I also heard this story in Miami zooted off of my mind, so I can't remember the specifics, but songwriting friend and another artist he was writing for was also there. And there's a huge group of people in Diddy's theater room watching a movie. Suddenly, Diddy arrives and orders everyone out because guess who just pulled up? Guess who pulled up? A certain bald A-list actor with a neurodegenerative disease and early onset memory issues action star. Yeah, that one. Diddy was hyping him up saying they were going to watch some of his movies and it was a private showing. Everybody hurries out. But my songwriting friend forgot something and the artist he was also writing for doubled back to retrieve said item. And only to find to the action star and Diddy going at it, making out. My friend was shocked and hurried out. As he told me this story, I remembered a time when the actor and Diddy were all over each other publicly at an awards show. Maybe MTV Movie Awards? It was doing that weekend they showed up in matching white suits. I'm trying to find video footage, but I think it's scrubbed or just really old. Yeah. So the person, you know, went to, they edited the, their post to add, you know, the picture. I guess they found the, the, the picture of Diddy and uh, the person, the actor. You see who it is? Okay. They also added, oops, Naomi was there too. Kim looks such a mess in all of these pics. It's honestly heartbreaking. Was she known for extreme substance abuse? And then that's when you can see um you can see you know who it is. Voila. Yeah. 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 Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Look at them at the MT. This was in 2004. Okay, you see, and then there's a part I will get into later. This part is so disturbing. Okay, I will get into it. As you can see, yeah, I will get into that later. As you can see, they arrived on a yacht. It's Bruce Willis, it's Diddy. As you can see, Mace, Mason Betta. Yeah, he's there too. Look, look, okay, there goes Mace again, okay, Naomi, well, we're not even going to get in, you know, get into Naomi Campbell, she is a disgusting human being, she's disgusting, I'll save that for another Another video of this wicked women. There you go. You see? You see? The body language. They always connecting. Like their bodies always together. Um 
Look. Look. Look at this. Look at this. Yep. Okay. You see? There's a huge gap between him and Naomi. You know who he... You know. Listen. <laughs> Listen. It's so obvious. Even though he came with four... Well, he came with... Well, you see him with Naomi, Kim, you see Mace. But, yeah. We know how Diddy gets there. L let me continue. Let me show you more. Okay, let me show you more. Again, Naomi. Okay. Again. There to go again. Look at this. Look at this. Look at them. Look at the cute couple. Look at the cute couple. Oh my goodness. Look, they're even dancing inside. Yeah. Yeah, they're having a good old time, huh? A good old time. Here they are again. Yeah? Are you surprised? Be honest. Are you surprised by this? This, that, you know, what I just, what I'm showing you guys. Are you guys surprised? My goodness. And look at this. What the is this? They left together. Okay? No Naomi, no Kim, no Mace in that car. It was just them. And look at this. Isn't it disturbing? This is so disturbing. It's like he... Look at, look at Bruce's face. He's like trying to hold it together, keep it together. And Diddy is like... Yeah. It's like he's about to go downtown. Mouth wide open. <laughs> they left together. Without. Without the. Two women that. He had on the yacht. You know. Listen. We know how Diddy gets down. He'll have a lot of people around him. Just to. Just for a front. Like you know. But. Yeah. Look at this. This is so disturbing. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay. There's more. There's more. Here goes Bruce, yeah? Nope. Are you surprised? Are you surprised? Because I'm not. See? Another event. Another party he threw. Right? And then look who's here. Will Smith. Now, we know about Will Smith. Okay? We know how they get down. Those two. So here's Bruce Willis again. All three of them. Here's Bruce Willis. Here goes Diddy, Will Smith. Yeah, at the same table. And yeah, you see? Will Smith posing with Bruce Willis at that same party. Right? Is this Owen Wilson? Yeah. Yeah. But see, look at them again. Together. Every time Diddy is in the picture, he has to be next to Bruce Willis. They are together. Okay? And look, look at Will Smith. Look. Jeez, these people are sick. Wait, there's more. Oh, oh yeah, there's more. Another event. They attended together. Oh. Look. Look, they walked in together.
yeah, they being interviewed together. <laughs> oh, wow. Look, look. Look at him, look at him, look at him. And this guy, I've seen him with, uh, I've seen him in a few pictures together with them. I don't know, but you know, they're big on orgies, so you never know. Look at this. Look at this. Look, he had a mohawk. He thought he was so cool. This guy. There's more. And look. Here they are again. Okay? Bruce Willis with his kids and Diddy. They came together. <laughs> yeah. You see this? Do you see this? There's more. Diddy, P. Diddy's topless party for Bruce. He even threw Bruce Willis a party, a pool party. <laughs> Look, Puffy's topless party for Bruce Willis. Rap superstar Sean P. Diddy Combs surprised Bruce Willis when the actor joined his party over the weekend. He presented a swimming pool full of topless women. Right, right, right. We know what that means. <laughs> when guests of honor Willis arrived at the party on the rapper's East Hampton, Long Island, Estates at 3 in the morning. Come on, guys. 3 in the morning. Combs reportedly ordered all the women in the house to go topless as a treat for the die-hard star. With all those who refused to bear all being told to leave. So he ordered these women to go topless. And the ones who didn't want to, he had them, he made them leave. Do you believe this? Willis, 48 at the time, this was in 2003, then jumped into the swimming pool and frolicked with the ladies. Yeah, right. According to the New York Post. One revealer says they went on until 8 a.m. and then Puffy served breakfast. I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did serve Breakfast sausage, I'm sure, was included, right? This is crazy. This is crazy. You know, this is this was in two thousand three. So this happened before the other events that you they attended. You see, <laughs> wow. So this was first, that was the first public, you know, public one. And then it was the MTV. No, no, it was the, yeah, the MTV with the kids and Diddy. And then it was the dinner. And then it was, oh, so many. Like, yeah, so if you want to put them in order, I guess. But... Yeah, this is, yeah, so, um, three in the morning, a pool party, right? You surprised him. Yeah, just him with top, so-called topless women. Yeah, you know, you know what Puff, you know what Diddy he be doing. So he'll have other people around. So he does things in, in plain sight, right? He'll have, like, you'll see, like, okay, for an example, the fact that he he came with Naomi and Kim. So, to the blind eye, to the blind eye, 
you think it's all innocent, you know, just people hanging out. No, 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 no. He does things in plain sight. He'll have people that he, we, we, listen, according to the lawsuit, you, you know how this guy get down, right? So it's detailed how he gets down, you know, people he's messing with, they'll be around and, you know, he'll arrive with somebody in the public and then he is doing things with that person and everyone looks so, you know, so like they're just hanging out and it's bigger than that. Then we see, did we not see Cassie on the red carpets with him all while she was going through hell? But on the red carpet, but in public, she had to put on a smile and just look like she's having a good old time. Okay? This is the same thing with the Bruce Willis and all the, the Naomi Campbell. Well, you know Naomi Campbell. Naomi Campbell is a, oh my goodness. I don't even want to get it. She's disgusting. Okay? So, going back to what I said. Let's go back to the the last thing the person wrote. Okay, this part is so disturbing. I'm going to read it now. It says, I'm only adding this because it's alleged that the actor, Bruce Willis, the action star, Bruce Willis, also abused a famous teen sensation that was the Bieber of his time. So this famous teen sensation, at the time, back then, he was the Justin Bieber. Okay? This teen is also no longer alive and will never see justice. R.I.P. You know who this person is talking about? They are talking about... I'm going to show you. They are talking about Corey. Yeah. This is sad. Yeah. Corey. Corey. Hey. Remember the two Corys? Corey Feldman? Is that Feldman? Feldman? And the two Corys. They had a show... Before he passed, before Corey Haim passed, he had a show with Corey Feldman. And, you know, they grew up together. They were very close. They were best friends. You know, and, you know, and then Corey Haim, you know, he turned to drugs because he was abused, sexually abused throughout his career. Both of them. So, if what is mentioned is true, Bruce Willis there's a special place for you okay and Corey Haim will will get justice Corey Haim will get justice whether we live to see it or not on judgment day everyone everyone Vengeance is mine. I will repay. Set the Lord. Matthew 18. 6 through 7. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were drowned in the death of the sea. Woe to the world because of offense. For offenses must come. But woe to that man by whom the offense comes. Amen. What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see. When I look upon his face, the one who saved me by his grace. When he takes me by the hand and lead me through the promised land. What a day, glorious day that will be. There'll be no sorrow there, no more burdens to bear. 
no more sickness, no more pain, no more parting over there. And forever I will be with the one who died for me. What a day, glorious day that will be.